the dogs and cats are crazy over there. They're 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 not very nice, and I I think they they see white people sometimes, and they're like, wow, oh, they get all. Like, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> and there was a dog there that did not like me. And they had a, like a wooden gate in front of this house. And um, the dog was on a chain, but it would just go crazy. And the one day that we went down there, I heard the chain break. And so I like, I latched onto this wooden gate. Like I wasn't gonna let the dog out to, to get me, but then I, I saw the member coming to the gate and I was like, okay, yeah, she won't, she won't, for sure she won't open up the gate, but, you know, sure enough, she opened it up just enough and the dog came out and got me. So beware of dogs. Some of them are nice. I shouldn't say all of them are mean, but I, I, I like cats now. <laughs> that that kind of changed me. The first thought I had when we got off the plane I think we flew through Taiwan or something. Um, went to the, got to Manila, and right as I got off the plane, I just felt this huge heat wave just hit me. Yeah, I was like, wow, how am I gonna do this for two years? That was my my first thought, and then uh, you know, just tons of little Filipinos running around speaking a language that I thought I knew. People are talking a million miles an hour and. It was a little overwhelming, um, and I definitely stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah, I was way taller than everyone. We got uh, we loaded a bus. Uh, someone picked us up. It wasn't a bus. It was a little little white van, and and our driver was just flying through traffic like. You know, the, the traffic rules that I was used to in America did not exist at all over there. You know, just being in a different country and all the crazy cars and people, it seemed like everyone was outside. All the kids were playing in the streets. These people were loving and they were, they were happy. I mean, I, you look around right when you get there and lots of people are smiling and laughing. And, and so I, it got me really excited. Kazan City is crowded. There is so many people. I mean, I, I think there, there's a uh, hundred million people that live in the Philippines alone. And Manila and Kazan City, it's like it's it's basically just one big city. And uh, there's there's a ton of people. Uh, people come from. You know, lots of provinces uh, to come work in Manila because there's lots of job opportunities, and so that that was one of my first impressions. Is wow, this place is crowded, and uh, it is third world. Um, there's uh, you'll see a lot of poverty, and you'll see stuff, and you'll smell stuff that you've never <laughs> smelt before, and that 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 can be a little bit frightening, but. What was amazing to me is to is some of the houses you'd walk in and some of the things you'd see like I mean you'd, you'd walk in a house that was literally like you know a, a fourth of the size of your room at home and this family has three kids and uh, their dad you know has 18 hour days and and to walk in those uh, those humble houses and to see how happy they are. I mean, they don't. A lot of them don't have. Uh, they don't have running water. You know, and that's not everywhere. I mean, lots of people had running water, but I mean, it it just showed me like how how you don't need material things to be happy. And they they show they taught me the importance of of family and and relationships. They. You know, like I, I said earlier, everyone everyone's outside for the most part. No one likes being inside the house. They, they're such a friendly people that, I mean, everyone in their neighborhood, they know. Just happy, happy, happy people. And I, I'm jealous of anyone that, that's going over there because it, it, it is an adjustment. It's a different life, but you, you'll learn so much just from, from being around the people get used to rice. Yeah, you'll eat rice sometimes three times a day. 
but I, I love the food. The Filipinos are such good cooks. I, I, that's one thing I was really worried about is the food, but I learned to love the food. And they would cook these big lunches with all sorts of vegetables and pork and chicken and these really, really, it's, they pretty much make, they're called, it's called ulam, and they make different ulams, which is like, it's like a, a soup that they just put on rice, and that's, I guess that's like the best way to describe it, but you go in these houses, and they want to give you, you know, they want to buy you a Sprite, they want to buy you some crackers, like they feel like they have to serve you, which was pretty humbling like you walk in these small houses and they want to they want to serve you some other facts I, I i think it rains every day and it and it pours and so you gotta have an umbrella i mean if you're outside for five minutes you're completely soaked if you don't have an umbrella a couple of times i forgot my umbrella or my umbrella broke and i was so head to toe I hate thunder and lightning <laughs> and the, the thunder and lightning is crazy over there like the, the thunderstorms will wake you up at night because it's just like so loud and but it it was that was pretty cool too I'm so grateful uh, that I that I served and I wouldn't trade that experience for anything in in the whole world Sobrang nagpapasalamat ako sa pagkakata ng poneto na magpatoto uh, sa Tagalog, uh, grabe na, na mamiss ko ang Tagalog at ang mga tao sa uh, Pilipinas.